right, guys, we're going to um, make some rainbow effect eyes. We're going to change these um, regular hazel eyes. They were nice, but we're going to make them uh, have a nice rainbow effect. Um, first thing we're going to do is uh, I always unlock the layer. Um, just makes it a lot easier. Um, from there, we're going to um, we're going to select the uh, shape tool. Uh, we're going to be introduced to a couple different things. We're going to be introduced to the shape tool, um, to a particular shape tool, and also the gradient um, gradient tool. And we're going to use that layer mask to clean up. Um, once we make the shape to clean up around the eyelid and everything to make it look way more realistic, we're also going to um, use a blending uh, mode. Uh, blending modes are how uh, layers uh, interact with each other. Um, unlike a um, layer mask, a layer mask is it deals with the transparency. A uh, blending mode changes based on color, based on um, value, um, and things like that. So, and we'll see we'll see that um, in this tutorial as well. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the shape tools. So, we're going to go all the way down here. Um, we're going to use the elliptical tool. Now, uh, once we've selected that, we have to go up to the. If you go up to the um, options bar and you can see the shape uh, we're going to click on fill um, what happens is when I draw this shape it Photoshop will fill it and I can fill it with a um, color I can fill it with a pattern but in this case we're going to use a gradient um, once we click open the gradient uh, we're going to um, find the rainbow uh, gradient and in order to do that we're going to go to the right hand side here on the panels and we're going to click all the way down and we need to find the legacy gradient if that's not there just click on this list here and it'll say legacy gradient and it will open it up for you um, you're going to go ahead and click down um, and you'll find the uh, let's see I think where is it I think it is under spectrums no uh, which one did they find out? you can go through them these are all the older gradients of Photoshop 2020 um, has put them still, you can still find them, but you do have to load them into Photoshop, which is what you did once you clear. And you can see all the different styles of gradients. And again, you don't have to, but it's under legacy default gradient and it is right here, the rainbow spectrum one. So we're going to clear on that, but we're not going to do that right now. Um, we're going to let me get rid of that, delete that. Okay. So again, we pick the shape, go to fill. And we're going to go all the way down and it's just say legacy gradients. And it is under spectrums. And is that, is it spectrums? So it's the other one. Legacy default gradients is where it's under. Let me find it. Hold on. Shoot. This one is so small. There they are. Oh, and once I go down, there it is, and it's spectrum. Okay, now once I've selected that, I'm going to draw over one eye, and it is going to create its own layer. Uh, shape tool is vector, so it will create its own layer. It will not place it directly on layer zero or the eyes, it'll create its own layer. So, in order to keep it in proportion, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag. Hold shift and drag the shape out. Now, if I want to place it directly over the eye, I can just use the space bar while I'm still holding shift. It takes a little bit of practice and you just move the space bar over like so, like this. And then you can release everything and it fills it with that gradient. Now, as you can see, it filled it with a linear gradient and I wanted it to be at an angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the fill. We're going to make sure we select the uh, same gradient. And I'm going to go to the drop down menu and I want it to be uh, angle. Okay. I'm going to want it to be at an angle. All right. So you just click angle and it puts it right back like that. Okay. Now from here, you can do the other eye or you can continue. I'm going to continue doing this eye here. I'm going to change it to color. 
on the blending mode. The blending mode is how, and you can see if you scroll up and down, you can see how each uh, blending mode interacts with that picture differently, okay? Based on its color, based on its hue, based on a lot of things, the value. Um, but this one is going to be placed on color. You can already see we're almost there, okay? You're going to click on it, and you can reposition right here. You want now? In order to clean that up, I'm just going to add my layer mask like so, and I'm going to do what we've been doing. I'm going to paint over those areas. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to paint over those areas, and again, make sure that you're on that layer mask, guys. You know, just paint over it like so. Clean it up a little bit. You don't want any in that pupil. So we're going to clean that up and tighten that up like so. And also do that inside. You can actually make it a little bigger. So, and you got some nice colored eyes there. Now the great thing about it is once you've done, once you're in this, you can change the effects. You can change the way it looks. Um, just make sure you go into your shape tool and you can change the uh, angle of it. You can change the, um, if you want, you can change it to radial. You can change it to reflected, diamond. Um, and it will stay because of that layer mask. It will change. It will not go over into the rest of the shape. But you can see the shape still exists. It's just being masked. Okay. Again, you can alter all these things here and change the way it looks. You can change the, the gradient as well. Okay. It doesn't have to be that one specifically but I'm just going to keep it on that rainbow one. And I don't know how I feel about the diamond. Let's try the reflected. It's pretty cool looking. There's the angular one, and then there's also the radial one, which I think is awesome. So I'm going to leave it at that radial one like that. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to do the other eye as well, okay? I'm going to select. And since you've already selected, you select your elliptical shape tool, and since I've already changed the fill, changed everything, um, I can actually, if I want, I can duplicate this or I can just create a new one. Again, hold the shift, drag it out, use the space bar to move it, and the shift keeps it in proportion like so. And then you just release everything um, and it does it both. Now, unfortunately, it did both of them like that. I'm going to step backwards. Okay. Uh, once I've done that, Select that layer zero again, and you got to do that, and then go ahead and hit the shift, drag it out. It should put it on a new layer. And there we go, and it placed it on a new layer. You have to, oop, you have to make sure that you select that eye layer because <clears throat> if you select that ellipse layer, it is going to add it to that same layer. So make sure you select the eye layer, go back, and again, we can go to fill, and I'm going to make it. Um, maybe a different, let's make it angle. There we go. And once again, <clears throat> change the blending mode to color. And then I can add that layer mask and I can clean it up with my brushes like so. And make sure that you're on the, it's okay to go a little bit over, no problem. And make sure to get that pupil too, guys. You can actually make it a little bigger. And you just, like so. Is it a more natural look? You can do it to this one as well. Like so. There we go. And again, make sure that um, you have that blending mode. Remember that blending mode that uh, set to color. And you have two separate layers. And that's how we do our rainbow eyes, guys. Uh, you can pick any really a gradient that you want. It doesn't have to be the radial or anything. I think they look pretty cool. Maybe I'll change this one here. Let me see. Let me change this. Make sure you select that shape tool. You're going to go radial, diamond. Let's do diamond. There we go. That's pretty neat. Or we can do a little like that radial a lot. And you can pick all different ones. See what it does. Different styles, different gradients, but I definitely like that rainbow one. Okay, guys, and that is how you do rainbow eyes. Remember to file and save it.
and save it to your desktop and turn it in.